Greetings Tinker Teachers, this is Daniel with Tinker and in this video we're going to walk you through how to manage your coursework and your lessons within the Tinker Teacher dashboard. Uh, now we've made some updates to the Teacher dashboard in fall 2018 so things have changed a little bit and I'm going to walk you through those changes. I'll show you how to assign and unassign lessons. Where do, where do lessons go when you unassign them? Uh, that's uh, uh, one question that's been asked a lot. Uh, but I'm also going to show you uh, where are the teacher guides, where are the answer keys, and um, how to preview lessons as well. So uh, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I wanna, I'm going to show you two different versions, basically, of the teacher dashboard. Uh, one is of a teacher who is brand new, free teacher, uh, who's logging in for the first time. And when you're logging in for the first time, whether you're a Tinker teacher or you've logged in as Google uh, or Clever, you're going to have to set up your classroom so that you can get your free course. So you're going to want to go through that pipeline. Uh, once you do that, uh, it's going to ask you to add a student. And you can do that uh, real quickly if you don't, let's say you don't want to go through the whole student adding process now, you can add just one student. Um, by going to Tinker account and auto-generating one, uh, basically one student, uh, and then add those students right there. And then what we'll do is we'll auto-assign you the free lesson for the free courses, 100, and then there's a Barbie course too. So that's how it looks to a free teacher when you first log in. Uh, so I am a veteran teacher, and when I want to go to my classes, uh, I'm going to show you a demo class that, uh, that I have. Um, and uh, when I want to manage my lessons within that class, I can just go to my Lessons tab, and here I go. And I've got uh, the ability to add a course, or I can add an individual STEM lesson if I have, have access to STEM lessons. So you can see here that I have Programming 101. I've already assigned this course uh, um, already to these students. Uh, and if I wanted to add any additional coursework, let's say I wanted to add the free P100 course uh, that, um, that's there. I could go to the free account here, uh, the free options, and I could assign that P100. Now we've made a change so that now when you assign a course, we import all the lessons at once. So we basically assigned six lessons to this student uh, and 46 activities. As a teacher, you can then open up this, these lessons so you can see what, uh, what's actually there. So if I wanted to do that, I could open up those lessons right there. And now I can see individually what those lessons look like. I can change the view of those lessons from a list to a grid, depending on what I like. Uh, and I can also print out. Some of you have asked whether you can print out a teacher guide. If you really want to do that, you can print that out here uh, and send that to your printer. So one of the things uh, I get asked often is um, about uh, sometimes teachers want to create test accounts for students so they can see what the student's content looks like. And you don't need to do that. All you need to do is click on the lesson plan right there. And then you can see what the students see. So when I click on the lesson plan here, I can see immediately the student content. This is exactly what students see when they log in uh, and click on the lesson in their dashboard. Uh, the, the difference for you as a teacher is that you can then now switch. And you can open up any one of these modules. You can preview the quiz if you want to. Uh, you can open up you know, one of these lessons just to see what that looks like. And I would highly recommend that. Please open the lessons. Take a look at what they look like. Get very comfortable with all the content so that you'll ha have a better idea of how to um, you know, teach it when students are engaged in those activities. So here's a, one of our Tinker projects that students will be engaged with. Uh, and I can preview this right now as a teacher. Uh, and if I actually go through this uh, if I go through this lesson and then I save it, uh, it will save in my teacher projects. Because any project you create, whether it's sampling, anything, when you save it, uh, it goes into your teacher projects. Same with students. If they remix a project or do any type of project, it'll save in their students' projects uh, folder. So I'm going to go back so you can see this lesson again. So one of the things I highly recommend is that... Uh, 
before you teach something, right? We want to take a look at the teacher guide. And we've given you amazing teacher guides, right? All of these lessons have possible introductions to what you might do for a lesson. Uh, you know, there's uh, links to, um, uh, I think we have some links to videos as well. We tell you what you know, the vocabulary students are going to see. So if you ever have to file your lesson plans, we have you covered. You have all the content you need. Here's a link to some great videos on code.org uh, that you might want to use as great introductions. Uh, and then here's the activity, uh, broken down for you bit by bit, which is really, really nice. Uh, some possible wrap-up activities, all the standards addressed are, are within all these uh, these lesson plans. And then if you want to see the answer keys, we've made you a very robust answer keys. And I highly recommend you keep those answer keys up in a tab somewhere on your computer uh, so you can always refer to them. Uh, in the beginning here, while we're getting used to teaching with Tinker, we, uh, we're not going to know the answers, all of these answers right away. We may want to uh, refer to some of these puzzles. So this is the lesson uh, just of, this is the Welcome to Tinker P100 lesson and what our teacher guides and our answer keys look like. And they all look like this. So it's very, very, very robust. Uh, so I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna take a look. So another thing people have asked is, how do I unassign lessons? So one of the things we've done in our new update for fall 2018 is we have assigned all the lessons to a course. So now when you import a course, uh, like I've done there, uh, it will give you all the lessons there. Students will see all those lessons when they log in. Uh, and so you may not want that, right? Um, or what if you decided, hey, you know, I want to unassign this whole thing. I don't want this course. How do I do that? Uh, within every course here, you can click the three dots and you can unassign that entire course. All those lessons will now go into the unassigned um, category. And then now there's a new tab within my lessons uh, um, page here that's unassigned. Students won't see those, but now if you want to reassign those, I can go here and then I can, um, I can then reassign those lessons. Uh, so if I click on those, I can then um, reassign those lessons. So right now they're all unassigned. If I want to reassign lesson one, two, or three, I have to click the these three dots on each lesson. So I might want to do that. Um, so let's say I only wanted to assign the first three in a lesson. I could do that. So assign one, assign two, and then assign three. And I go back to my assigned lessons. Now I've got three assigned and, and maybe this is more manageable to you. It's totally up to you how you want to do that. So I'm going to go back to all lessons and now you can see Programming 101 has three lessons that are assigned. And um, uh, again, it's, it's up to you if you think that's more manageable or not. Uh, another thing to, to consider is that you have, if you're a paid school, you have access to STEM lessons. And you can assign those individually. So if you have a STEM lesson here and you want to assign, assign like a life science project, you can assign an individual project like uh, animal structure, let's say. I'll assign that lesson. There I go. And now you can see I have an individual project uh, there that students can then now um, go ahead. And again, like all of these other lessons, when you open them up as a teacher, you can open them up. You can preview these lessons. Uh, and you know, starting here, this is what students see. They get an introduction and they walk through the funnel and they get like a little bonus quiz at the end. So lesson summary right there, and then the answer key. Uh, any final project or even quiz uh, answers are right there. So let me go back one more moment. Right there. So like I mentioned, uh, you know, this is, I'm a veteran teacher, so this is what my veteran uh, teacher um, dashboard looks like. For new teachers, we auto-assign a couple of the free courses for you, but it's the same idea there. Uh, you can then, you know, unassign an entire course, uh, or then you can add another course right here. For free teachers, you have access to three different courses. So you can do P100, P300, 
or uh, Barbie. Uh, and then if you want to upgrade, you can uh, you can choose to choose on uh, those different options there for middle school, elementary, and upgrade uh, their request to quote uh, if that's what you are interested in. Uh, and so, so this is the new Tinker uh, Teacher dashboard. This is how to manage your your classes, uh, coursework, and individual lessons within those courses uh, as well. Um, it's as you can see, it's it's I think it's a lot more intuitive. Uh, oh, there's one more little thing I wanted to uh, show you. Uh, this is when you go to the lessons, you can open up the lesson plan and you can see the answers. Uh, there is a couple other ways to get answers uh, or the answer keys. Uh, and so if you click on the answer keys button right there, you'll see uh, a tab open up uh, with a very nice step-by-step -step answer key for all of the courses that you have access to. Programming 100, Programming 101, and then there's Life Science right there. Uh, and so this view is, is a lot for some people, I think a lot cleaner, a lot more, uh, uh, but you don't get, like in here, you're not getting the, the standards, the teacher guide stuff that you see. These are just the answers. Uh, and so these are quick, quick ways for you to get uh, right to the answers. And again, I will say, keep this tab open whenever kids are going through your, your coursework um, and your class, you're gonna wanna have access to this pretty fast. Uh, as well. If you want to know where all of the answer keys are, they are in your resources. So if you want to take a look at the answer keys for every lesson that we have, um, you can go over here and then you can basically choose from uh, you know any of the lessons here and you're going to see that really nice breakdown. Uh, let's go to Programming 100 of each one of those answers right there. So, so thank you. This is uh, how to manage your, your courses and your lessons. Good luck.